getting ready for first pitch at Citizens Bank Park. It's the Marlins and the Phillies, and it comes your way next. And a good look there at one of the newer stadiums in the big leagues, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, as MLB The Show gets set for this edition of Major League Baseball. Straight ahead, a special Memorial Day ball game for you here, and we've got a good one, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And hello once again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian, we get set to bring you what should be an entertaining ball game. Also with us, 10-year Major League vet Rex Hudler. And Hud, we turn to you first. What catches your eye in this one? Well, one thing we'll have to keep in mind here is the way Citizens Bank Park plays. This place has become something of a haven for hitters, so pitchers are going to have to be extra precise with their control. Keeping the ball down and in the yard is going to be a key. All right, Rex, we'll hear from Dave in a moment, but first let's get to our majestic starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins line up like this. And as far as young sluggers go, Dan Ugla is one of the best of the bunch. And to think he was a Rule 5 pick. They'll tee it up against a guy who started 30 games for the world champs last year, the young right-hander Kyle Kendrick. And behind him, a look at the Phillies' defense as they're anchored up the middle by a two-time Gold Glove winner, Jimmy Rollins, at short, and a first-timer, Shane Victorino, in center. Coming fourth is the leadoff hitter, Hanley Ramirez, and we are all set to go now from Philadelphia. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. And now a jump throw against his body. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. And this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. And he misses with it, one and one. On at first is Ramirez with nobody out. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it, one and two now. Yeah, his body's telling him to swing, but his brain's saying no! and a miss strike three the throw and it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base so they'll have to be content with just the strikeout there as the runner's able to get himself into scoring position with one away so a runner on second with one down now and here comes Manny Foul ball straight back. And this is on the ground foul wide of Howard over at first base. Swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Oh, and here's where that slider's so effective. You take just a little bit off so it looks like a fastball, but then it disappears at the end. Great pitch. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. And he 
starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Yeah, he gets the call, but you don't want to make a steady habit of leaving that slider there. Comes set, now the pitch. Ball one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And it's pretty clear they've decided to work him up in the zone here as they've gone up with the last three pitches. Ball hit out toward Utley at second. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So they get a man to second here in the opening half inning, but fail to capitalize. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies will look like this, again brought to us by Majestic. And Chase Utley's definitely a power threat in this lineup. You don't get a whole lot of breaks. A square off against a surprise 15-game winner for the Marlins in 2008, right-hander Ricky Nolasco. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Ready to go now in the home half of inning number one as shortstop Jimmy Rollins makes his way toward the box. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Looked like he lost the handle on a breaking pitch, one and one. He'll leave that one alone. Here's the one one. And he gets a piece here as this ball's fouled away. And Rollins will lay off here, and he's worked the count back to two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well, he's determined to get him to chase that slider sooner or later. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Greg Dobbs will dig in here. There goes Rollins. Pitch outside the throw. And it's going to be in time. Perfect call on the pitch out, and Rollins had no shot. Swing and a miss as he gets this fastball by him. It's one and one. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. One out, nobody on. Now the 1-1. One, one. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Comes with a fastball, 
foul as this is lifted the other way out to left center. Over to get it is Ramirez, and that's out number two. So with two gone and the base is empty, no better time to go after Ryan Howard. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. And getting this guy going is going to be a real key if these guys want to turn things around. Let's go, Phillies! Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Fouled back. Three. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia with no score. Jeremy Hermida stands in, and you see what he's been up to the last three weeks or so. He's been on a tear. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. And he takes strike two. A little bit of sinking action on that fastball. Slider. Good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Ball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. The leadoff man retired now for Jorge Cantu. Jorge Cantu. Swinging a tapper out in front. Throw on to first, and Kendrick's looking pretty sharp here. Two away. John Baker will take his cuts now. Baker. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And this is taken for a ball low, I guess, but I think Old Blue might need an eye exam. It's one or no. And Woody Keller's normally pretty fair behind the plate, but he's been known to tighten that zone sometimes. 1-0 pitch now. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. And he's lost the zone out there a little. He might still be stewing about that first pitch being called a ball. And that misses for ball four. Gabby Sanchez will get his first cuts here. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And no threat to run over there at first. So with two away, you can focus all your energy squarely on this guy. And a 
Fastball in there for a strike, one and one. And with the pitcher on deck, you'd love to get this guy here and make the pitcher lead off the third. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. He's ready. Now the pitch. And Coast can't hang on here as this gets away from him. And just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. Carrying a bit out toward right center. Feliz is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One left for Florida. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Chase Utley digs in at the plate. And the first pitch is bounced on the ground to Ramirez at short. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. One gone in the inning now for Raul Ibanez. And that misses ball one. Now a fastball driven the other way out to deep left field. Manny is back to the warning track though as he gloves it for the second out. Boy, and this ballpark was just big enough to hold that one. That ball was given a pretty good ride that time. Shane Victorino will get his first shot at it here. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. Boy, and he has been razor sharp these first two innings. Strike two. And he's pitching this inning just like he's double parked. Everything's been in the strike zone here. Slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Ricky Nolasco ready to go here as we begin the third. Lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but rule the ball 1 0. And this is in the air down the 
left field line and into foul territory. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the inning. Leadoff man gone, so they'll work against the shortstop, Handley Ramirez. And this ball will be chopped foul. Down the line, but this will kick foul. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Jay Miller steps in now. And he starts him out with, well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. All right, it looked to me like it could have gone either way, and that certainly gives the hitter a leg up in the rest of this at bat. And this is swung on and bounced to Rollins at short. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Chris Coach will stand in looking to extend his modest six-game hitting streak. Good zip to the fastball there by Nolasco, and it's nothing in one. Man, he is locked in on the mound. And this is swung on and grounded to Ramirez at short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Little over anxious that time. He went out of the strike zone to get that one and it didn't pay off for him. The one away now and in steps Pedro Feliz. And a curveball drops in there for strike one. And you can tell he's really in his zone out there now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Now the pitch. And there's ball one. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. And it looks like he's got a good feel for that pitch early on. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. And this is swung on and missed, and they're able to get Feliz on strikes for route number two. Kyle Kendrick will be the batter. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And look how calm he looks out there. His tempo looks really good right now.
Having success with the fastball here, it's 0-2 now. And if he can get through this guy, that would be back-to-back, -back, one, two, three innings. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the top of inning number four. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Manny Ramirez will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And now a soft liner here to the right side. Foul. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. If you can keep planting that pitch there, you'll be in good shape. the line, but this is a foul ball. One two pitch is a bit high and he's back to even at two and two. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first out. Still looking for that first run of the ball game. Thought for a second this might be it, but it just didn't have enough steam behind it. So one gone now for Dan Ugla. Ugla. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. A fastball that stays straight, but I think he just missed it as this is hit in the air to fairly deep center field. There to play this Victorino, and that's out number two. So two men are gone here on the floor to fourth. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Jeremy Ermita. Ball one. And he misses again, 2-0. in there on the black two and one. Ah boy, when you're a middle of the lineup guy and you get a good one to hit two and oh, you gotta turn it loose. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. 
Yeah, a little late on the recognition, but a good job to hold up in time. Ball misses there, ball four. Jorge Cantu will be the batter. And a good fastball from Kendrick as he gets ahead. No balls and a strike. And now here's where you really need to make that two-out walk pay off. Lays off for ball one. One and one pitch home to Cantu. Fouled back. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. That's foul. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And already we're seeing a lot of deep counts early in the ball game. These can really start to pile up if you're not careful. Now the two-two pitch. Swing and a ground ball to first. And Howard will amble over to the bag for the putout, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied nothing-nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Averaging just over 10 pitches an inning through the first three, he was at 31 starting the fourth. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. And this is not a guy that'll get himself out. You're going to have to come to him at some point. Here's a 2-0 curveball that's low, 3-0. and And this is a guy that walked in his first at bat as well, so he's showing some good plate discipline so far. Here it comes, 3-0. and 3-1. And he's just waiting until he gets a strike. Not a bad decision to start an inning. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Mm, didn't like that one either. He's taking this about as far as it can go now. <laughs> Fouled straight back. Takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Greg Dobbs will try it again. He flew out his first time. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. and And let's see if he goes to his comfort zone now. That fastball down and away. Oh. 
Here's a ball chopped toward the second baseman. There to take it is Ugla. Throw gets him, two down. Ryan Howard will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Swinging on the first pitch as this is popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. Sanchez is right there as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied nothing-nothing. John Baker will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And now here's a ball grounded, fouled over toward third. Now here it comes. Outside for a ball, one and one. And these guys would love to see the bottom of the order get some offense going. And this is taken for a ball. Looked pretty good, but it's two and one now. Oh, that's a strike. Watch him now, huh? Good pitch there. Catches the outside corner for strike two. And he's done everything right on the mound so far. The mistakes have been almost non-existent. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Gabby Sanchez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch coming. Gets him to go after the first pitch as this is bounced toward the second baseman, Utley. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Ricky Nolasco will try it again. He flew out his first time. Right there for strike one. On the corner like he wanted, but I think that pitch needs to come down a bit more or it'll get hit. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. And Victorino will make the catch and the inning is over. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Last half of the fifth coming up and we still have no score. Chase Utley will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. Oh. And let's see if he can maybe get a little offense going. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and the throw sails. It's over his head. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be ruled an error, so the no-hit bid will still be alive. But still, your pitcher's got it hard enough. <laughs> Raul Abanya will dig in here. He flew out his first time around.
first offering on the way. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. And he has just been masterful with that pitch right there. I mean, they're never going to get another base runner if they keep chasing those. Fouled straight back. O2 is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. And that's a good two strike pitch there as now it might be just to set up something away. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center and they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases and the run will score from second to make this a one nothing ball game Shane Victorino will try it again set down on strikes his first time And this is on the ground to third. Throw on to first by Cantu, one gone. Chris Coach will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. into left. In a few steps is Manny, but this is a base hit. So first and third with one away. And in steps the right-handed hitting Pedro Feliz. Ball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Gotta at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. A step on the bag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So one run on two hits, one error, and one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. Phillies on top, one to nothing. Top of the sixth inning coming up. It's time to check out the upper deck in-game box score. And really not a lot to show you for these guys. Just one hit through the first five innings. Hanley Ramirez will get things started here in the top of inning number six. First pitch coming. And waiting for him to call a strike, but he never did. It's 1-0. and oh. Ah, and that might be the kind of call you get when you're an all-star. That looked to catch a lot of the plate. And this is on the outside corner, or thereabouts at least. It's one and one. Boy, when you're getting calls out there, you can really be tough to hit. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. And these guys could really use a leadoff base runner here. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Just really struggling to get anything going offensively right now. Even balls that are hit somewhat sharply are right at guys, and there's another example there.
Jay Miller will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Miller. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. He'll get it into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Runner at second, one away, and standing in the always dangerous left fielder, Manny Ramirez. Off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And over to third now is the runner. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Utley at second. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Dan Ugla will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And that misses for ball one. Yeah, when guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And he'll reach down to make the play on the run. A fine defensive effort there retires the side. So it's one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. 9-1-2 and two scheduled a hit in the home half of the sixth, all tied at 1-1. One and one. Low scoring game as we get another look at the in-game box score, and much like the previous one we saw, really not a whole lot to look at offensively thus far. Kyle Kendrick will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. And a ball 1-0. And even though you're not getting much run support to speak of, you really need to just focus on doing your job on the mound. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. And here's a pitch swung on and missed, one and two now. Yeah, normally not a great spot, but with the pitcher at the plate, it's okay to challenge him there. liner but this is a foul ball ball and mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two but he did and it's two and two now wow he's acting more like a leadoff man here he's actually making him sweat 2-2 pitch on the way. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still 2-2. Two two. Ball 3. 3-2 three now. And this is the pitcher he's throwing to. He needs to focus here. Foul down near third. Hey. 
Arnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Leadoff man retired, and that brings up the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and and coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. The next pitch. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and Curveball, and he's losing it a little here. It's 3-0. and And this will get you hacked off as a hitter. Put something over the plate. Let's go. Nope. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. And now time for a visit from the pitching coach. And everyone in the ballpark knows he's going to tell him, quit walking, guys. Let's go. Greg Dobbs will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Now a move over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. And again a throw, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Now here's the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And he's already given up two walks in the inning, and he's fallen behind here as well. Now it's 2-0. and And with runs proving to be hard to come by, we'll see if they want to set that runner in motion here. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. 2-0 is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3-0 now. And you got the big thunder coming next, so you don't want to lose this guy. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. And now with two men on here, this is a good job by the catcher coming out to make sure he's not losing his focus here in the middle inning. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. He gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. Ramirez onto the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3-6-1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. We're through six full, all tied at one and one. Jeremy Hermida will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and And when you're struggling to score runs, you really need the heart of your order to get something started. The 1-0 pitch. A little late that time as he swings and misses for strike one. Swing and the ball lifted. 
lifted in the air toward the line in right. And a diving effort, but he can't make the play in right. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Yeah, go-ahead run at second base here to start their half of the seventh. So you're not going to get many better opportunities than this to take the lead here in the late going. On his way to the mound now is Philly skipper Charlie Manuel. And it looks like that's going to be it for Kyle Kendrick. He departs in a tie ball game, but is responsible for that runner at second, so the best he can hope for is a no decision here. Call to the bullpen complete as the right-handed workhorse Ryan Madsen set to take over. Jorge Cantu will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And we are right on the teetering point in this ball game. Each at bat could be a make or break now. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Swing, hot shot to the left side. That's in there, base hit. John Baker will stride in, grounded out his last time through. In there, strike one. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. Now a ball grounded foul down the line near first. and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer and that's out number one. Gabby Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. And he takes ball one. Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. And this is on the ground for Utley. Could be two. Rollins. Relay to Howard, and it's in time. The double play, that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. All tied at one and one. Chase Utley will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. It's in the dirt for ball one. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Boy, and you don't want to hit a guy when he's the go-ahead run. Got to be careful if you work that far inside. And 
he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Third time through the lineup for these guys now, and they haven't done a whole lot to this point. Gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. Miller has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. And you could bet he'd love to get through the middle of this order one more time tonight without getting burned. He's got the first out right there. Raul Abanya will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. And a fastball just misses for ball one. And he's only at 76 pitches, so he probably has enough to go nine if they need him to. Bases are empty, one man out. 1-0 on the way. And that misses 2-0. And he's digging himself a hole right here. It's hard to get veteran hitters to chase stuff like that. And here's a fastball for a strike, two and one now. And he's certainly not showing him a whole lot of respect here. Back-to-back -back challenges right up in the zone. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And now this is bobbled by Ugla. And boy, an error saver there at first if he kept his foot on the bag. He did. Oh, what a play for the second out. Shane Victorino will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And a curveball in for a strike. And he's really been effective getting ahead with that first pitch curveball all night long. Ball mine to the right side. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Chris Coach will step in. One for two in the ballgame. First pitch to him. And this is low, ball one. Yeah, with two outs, you got to get a good lead at first so you can score that go-ahead run on a ball in the gap. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And this is fouled straight back. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And he's hardly even had to work out of the stretch so far. This is almost like a new experience for him out there. is Victorino and this one will be out of play off to the left ready with another 2-2 and that misses there so he runs the count full now and now that runner on first should be on the move here with two outs This one skied out towards straightaway right. And Hermida will make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. 
eighth inning coming up, all tied at one and one. Pudge Rodriguez has moved into the on-deck circle now, so that'll signify the end for Ricky Nolasco. Now here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. And sometimes when you haven't seen a guy, you might want to take a pitch to gauge him. But he let a pretty good one go by there. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. Swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first. And that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And it's back to the top of the order now for Hanley Ramirez. low for ball one. Boy, and you've got to like the drama of a low-scoring game where every pitch means something. Come on, would you turn two now? 1-0 pitch now. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. And the adrenaline might be flowing a little too strongly right now. Gets the call on the changeup there, two and one. Ah, a good off-speed pitch there and a fastball count. <laughs> Line hard. Foul. is swung on and missed that time by Ramirez a strikeout victim and there's one away Jay Miller will get another crack one for three thus far now the first pitch on the ground down the first baseline Rollins and good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a 3-6-1 to six to one double play, and the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead, all tied at 1-1. One and one. A new pitcher coming on now. It's the former Crimson Tide standout, left-hander Taylor Tankersley. Jeff Jenkins is up off the bench as he will pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. Ball probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball one and oh. Go get him, Billy. And they continue to work below the knees here as that's ball two. And the one thing you don't want to do is start falling behind guys here. Now he can probably sit on a fastball two and oh.
And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and And now this has to be a strike. You cannot live with a leadoff walk in the late innings of a tie ball game. Here he comes on 3-0. and Swing and a liner towards second. And that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench as he's aboard to kick off their half of the inning. Well, and you can't ask for much more than that. They turn to the bench here, and he comes through with a knock. That is nice work. And it looks as though we're going to see a pinch hitter here as Eric Bruntlett's grabbed a bat and moved into the on-deck circle. One. And this place is humming right now. Here's the 1 0. The ball two now. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. wide to the mark ball three already six balls and just one strike so far taking all the way it's three and one now doing the smart thing taking all the way And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And it's back to the top of the lineup now for Jimmy Rollin. And that's in there for a strike. Boy, and this is a critical part of the game now. He really needs to get a key out here. And this is lined hard to deep left. Manny has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for out number one. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and that will bring in the third baseman, Greg Dobbs. And a fastball, very easy to lay off that one. It's a ball one. And the Phils know that one key hit here could make a big impact on the outcome of the ball game. The next pitch. Ball two. In a game like this, every play is big, every pitch is big. Oh, and here's a slider that's ruled a ball. 3-0 and now. And this is going from bad to worse. He's about ready to walk the bases loaded now. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. And now that runner's got to be bouncing on balls in the dirt back there. Matt Lindstrom will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. out there in what may be the pivotal at bat of this game. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. 
Not given an easy task here to come in and have to face Ryan Howard right away. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Misses there, one and two. And the good news is they have the bases loaded, but the bad news is this guy is a definite double play candidate. Oh, and a huge strike out there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. Oh, and all you needed there was a fly ball to get that go-ahead run home. Now with two away, it's no sense that they'll be able to take this lead. Chase Utley, the big end now needing to come through here with the bases loaded and two men out. Pulled into right. Hermida is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. Manny Ramirez will step in to lead things off here. Ninth inning coming up. All tied at one and one. Jeff Jenkins will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field, number 10, Jeff Jenkins. Play Condry come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Manny Ramirez will step in. 0 for 3 but with an RBI. In the air now to straight away right field. Jenkins is under it, and they'll put it away, so a sigh of relief there as Manny set down on just one pitch. Dan Ugla will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Line hard to the left side but foul. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Still no home runs in the ball game on either side of the scorecard. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And this guy's a grinder up there. You know he'll give you a tough at-bat. Now a ball bounced towards the mound. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Jeremy Hermida will step in. One for two in the ballgame. First pitch on the way. Too low, 1-0. And this is a guy that loves the moment on the mound. He lives for this. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. And 
Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Very enticing, but a good job holding up. And this pitch is swung on and hit routinely on the ground to second. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. All tied at one and one. Raul Banya will stride in, rounded out his last time through. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And this guy at the plate has driven in their only run of the night. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. and oh. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And it's a base hit. So there you go. The potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the night. Shane Victorino. Stand in now and we'll see what they do about perhaps getting that winning run to second. Here's the first pitch. Now he runs up and gets this one down. And he'll ensure that this ball stays foul and a smart play as that would have been a base hit if it had come back. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Only play will be the first, so there you go. The possible winning run is in the scoring position now on the sacrifice. Chris Coast stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Boy, it feels like no one sat down since about the seventh inning. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. And I'll tell you what, not one person has left this ballpark. is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And the winning run is across to score. Well, you could tell. He went up to the plate thinking he wanted to end this thing right here and now. And that's just what he did. Good ball game here in this one with runs hard to come by. It makes it much easier to find our difference maker as you get a look there, Dave, at our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, Matt, he was certainly a factor here. You see the two hits for him in the game, and he was certainly instrumental in helping his team win. So that's a wrap here tonight. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. For more, find us online at MLB09.com. The Phillies win this one 2-1. to one. Post game highlights are on the docket next. From Philly, good night everybody.